Hi, welcome to the Outer Fetter YouTube channel. It is Big Turbo O'Clock. We have outgrown the current turbo on the car, which I used to think was big for it. This is fantastic news because it means we're actually getting enough fuel to warrant putting a bigger turbo in. Amazing. These pieces I am holding are a GT22V. It's a Garrett 20 series variable geometry turbo. I had to do some conversions the way I got it. It was no way in hell it was gonna go on the car. Classic Ollie chops and hacks turbo completely to fit the way he wants. The beautiful thing about using another 20 series, my other one was a 2052, is it has the exact same oil in and out. So really all I have to do to adapt this turbo to my car is change how it mounts. Basically worrying about exhaust piping, gonna have to do a little fiddling to get the intake piping to work, but nothing bad. So it's just a matter of fabbing up accessory attachment points. In here, I just attached this, had to patch large amount of space, but this won't flow super well. I have a die grinder attachment for my angle grinder, so I'm gonna go ahead and hog this baby out. Check that out. Awesome way to adapt tool you already have. Die grinders are like over a hundred bucks and this little collet adapter here was like 26. One thing I noticed is this sat perfectly before I welded it onto something, but now it rocks. Maybe when I put it on, I'll just put some JB Weld to fill the gaps, which would work fine. But you know, if down the road I really like this turbo and I'm gonna keep it forever, I'll just cut off the very end of this and weld a new flange on and be mindful not to uh, get any debris or get everything too hot. I had this whole thing glowing cherry red and I think this just warped. That's how she goes. All right, so here's the new turbo cartridge. Here's the old one. Pull that out. And now here's your unison ring and you can see see the veins moving so when you don't want to make boost or just have it full open that's this way and you're trying to spool that's this way one thing I've realized here is it's pretty dang hard to clock this mechanism it had a pin it's supposed to be one way the way it's set up and the way I use the turbo it would put the oil feed upside down not good. I cut the pin off and now I'm gonna try test fitting it a few different ways. A little less straightforward than I was hoping, but also kind of exactly what I expected, so. Here's the remnants of the old turbo. Definitely leaking. Yeah, just covered in oil. Just showing some size comparison. This uh, new one's quite a bit bigger. Fingers crossed it actually spools. I think we have a good chance of it happening because of the veins. Looking at width here, I think this turbo, the 20 here in front, had quite a long run into it on the turbo itself. Whereas this one's pretty snug, so I'm hoping maybe it just works. Maybe it just fits. We'll find out. I'm gonna cut this off, then re-bolt this to the car, then dry check that on it, 
and then decide what I'm gonna do for an attachment to it. Woo! Here we are dry fitting. I already have the clamp on it, so I'm accounting for that distance, and it looks like it's gonna go. The one tricky thing I'm finding is like, this is the orientation I'm gonna need this baby in, and that is not at all how it was designed to operate, so I might have to get creative with how that solenoid is mounted on this turbo. So this baby is the solenoid. Right here, it should be fully extended in the way it normally sits, and this should be fully closed. So it looks about like that. This mark right here is where it sits. It's going to sit when it's fully closed now. Because I clocked it, it sits more like this. I'm just gonna cut this off and weld it on right about 90 degrees different. And that way, when it's sitting like that, it'll be coming off this side and have lots of throw. Got the solenoid mounted on, got its linkage on. It works, it's clocked in a way that's gonna work for me. New center, new turbo cartridge is in there, like swimwear, looking good. Resonators in the mail. Hot side actually mounts to manifold, and there's room. Parts that aren't needed were trimmed off. V-band clamp here. For exhaust this turbo is ready to put in the car here's to progression on the left is the new turbo and my more recent welding abilities and on the right is my old turbo and how I used to weld I like how this flow is set up with this turbo. This is my intake. Intake goes down there to intake of turbo, outlet of turbo, follow it through the engine bay to intercooler, out of intercooler into manifold. Mounted this extender nicely, stoked on that. Exhaust still has to go on, but I will fit and it will go through the hood. So I'm just gonna put that on and then We'll fire this baby right up. First start with all the piping on and everything double checked. Super exciting. Here we go.
Turbo is in, everything is connected, it runs, it sounds pretty good. I'm excited to take it for a test drive. I think after my test drive, I'm gonna need to retorque pretty much everything, at least manifold wise, a couple other beep boops. But there we go, we have the GT22V, it's in and on the car, everything's connected, it's gonna work. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day.